Dear Itzy, it's not me, it's you. I'm not breaking up with you, but we need to talk. We met 11 years ago when you were young and a bit nerdy looking and none of my friends had ever heard of you. But my mum liked the look of you, so I gave you a chance. Together, we have been through a lot of changes. Sometimes I felt like you ignored me a bit, but other times I felt you've supported me and pulled me up even when I didn't believe in myself. Oftentimes when changes have been made, I may have freaked out a little bit, but when I knuckled down and rolled with it, I've always come out the other end, not just all right, but doing even better. But this time it feels slightly different. So many of my friends are seriously worried about this. I know you did answer some questions in your Q&A session and I know you've got more things planned, but there are still some things that are unclear to us all. There are a few things that we really need to understand before we can decide how to progress. Could you please give us a little look at what you're planning? What this free shopping's gonna look like? It must be already designed. So importantly, can we know? So is it just a change to the algorithm where items with free shipping to the US will just get a boost in rankings and be seen on top of items without? Or, as I suspect it might be, is it a different algorithm? Is this more like promoted listings? So we'll have an area that say guaranteed free shipping and then all the normal items will be underneath. And before we decide to make these changes, if we do decide to make these changes, please, please, could you bring in a legal expert to tell us the legality of this? Most especially in the US, where we're expecting buyers to be seeing this, is it legal to follow the advice that you were given to inflate the price of our item to incorporate in the price of shipping, to then say free shipping, when clearly that's misleading about what free means? And also, how does this work legally across the world? Specifically, I've been hearing lots from Canadian sellers and also people in the EU. Are these changes you're advising actually legal? Is what people are seeing in the search just now connected to this, where they're seeing that their shop names are not showing up in search? And on the Etsy homepage, instead of shop names and titles, that's not there at all, but they're also the listings are now six items wide rather than the standard four. Is this connected? Is this going to be what the new change looks like? So do we need to spend time thinking about what we're going to do to brand our photographs so return customers can recognize recognize us. Or if this is an unrelated test, can you please let us know? Or, or really, was this the best time to start this test? And will this change to US buyers seeing preferential placement for items that do free shipping to the US for items over $35? Will this be rolling out internationally as well? Will our customers in the UK, customers in Canada, customers in the rest of the world see this event eventually? Can we please see examples of the planned tools you mentioned in the Q&A for international sellers, for people who are selling items at drastically different price points in different countries. I know you briefly mentioned there's going to be a demo, I believe, tomorrow on the tool that the US shippers are going to get, but is there a chance that we can see something, the, the plans that are coming up for later in the year? Again, so we can plan what we're going to do. Can we please choose what special badge is displayed in our shop? If items that have free shipping are up there in a special section because they have free shipping, if we have an item that has a best seller badge, please could we choose to show the best seller badge rather than the free shipping badge? Because this is a much bigger achievement. Not everybody gets a bestseller badge, whereas you can choose free shipping. So if possible, could we at least choose to be able to show the bestseller badge? To deal with the differences in prices, is it possible to make another listing for just the US with the free shipping and not actually to include our own country in this and then make another listing that's similar that's for our own country and the rest of the world with our shipping prices included so that we don't end up ripping off our own homegrown buyers. You say you want us to grow in the UK and grow in the rest of the world. Please, we don't want to rip off our buyers if they're buying something that's had inflated prices to cover the US shipping. And please, instead of this, I completely understand. 
as a buyer, it's not nice to not know what the entire price is before you click on the item. It's not nice to have to guess what shipping is before sometimes you even purchase. So rather than elevate the shops that have free shipping, why not, instead of saying free shipping, say shipping included, and you could either boost the shops that have shipping included, or just show the entire price for a buyer in the location that they're in, so they can compare eggs with eggs instead of eggs with elephants. But shipping included would take away some of the legal fears that many people are having, and also take away the feeling that we're being disingenuous with our customers when we say free shipping, but it's not free shipping shipping. The customer's still paying for it, so shipping included would be more honest. And I have to ask, is the higher than usual issues with the site due to these changes that you've been thinking of implementing? Now this is a free letter to Etsy, and I hope they hear it. But for you, my viewers, I hope this also covers some of the fears, some of the questions that you have. I want to ask you now if you can do me a favour. In the comments down below, let me know if there's any questions I've missed here. Let me know what's troubling you. And also if you give a thumbs up to the comments that you like, the comments that are covering the questions that you're worried about. And also, more importantly, can you share this somewhere that Eatsy will see? Can you at Eatsy this? Can you put this to their Twitter, to their Facebook Share this with Eatsy, and then hopefully we'll get a chance for Eatsy to answer some of our questions and concerns before it's too late, before this goes live. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about here, you want to check out the playlist where I've been covering this topic since it, since it went live last Tuesday. This is the change that Eatsy's talking about, which is the priority placement of listings for US buyers that have free shipping to the US for items over $35. I've been looking into this and hearing all your questions since it came round, so you want to check out the other videos in the playlist. And don't forget, hit my wee face to subscribe and come back often for any more news and updates that I can find out. Thank you so much.